I'm Earth One's Jessica Chobot, and this is Earth One's Nerdist News. Last night, fans of the DCEU finally got what they've been longing for, a Flash Supergirl crossover for the ages. And while the episode was stellar and served as the perfect antidote for those who were put off by that other, grimmer, darker superhero team-up, it's left us all wondering, now what? Considering the 30% boost in ratings for Supergirl's big crossover special, this can't be the last time we see the Scarlet Speedster team up with the Girl of Steel. Am I right? Well, in an interview between showrunner Greg Berlanti and Nerdist's own Joe McKay, Berlanti was asked whether Kara would ever return the favor and appear on The Flash. The answer? We would love that. I think we want to wait and see the audience reaction to something like this, but just as storytellers and fans of the actors, obviously. We love it when we can figure out a way to do it creatively, and hopefully everybody enjoys it. Well, first off, Greg, I am pretty sure we all enjoyed it. And as for the audience reaction, I think that huge ratings boost says a lot, so yeah. It's looking like Kara and Barry might share ice cream again sometime. But what about the other DCEU shows like Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow? Oliver Queen probably isn't gonna cross over to other worlds, but if Kara's gonna visit Barry in Central City, eh, she might as well drop by Star City and say hello. And as for the crew of the time and space traveling Wave Rider, Belanti says teasingly, the Wave Rider can go anywhere. Legends of Supergirl confirmed. Really though, at the end of the day, we're talking about a multiverse here. Shouldn't there actually already be a Barry in Kara's universe and a Kara Danvers in Barry's? Well, Berlanti has an answer for that too. That hints at a much easier way for the non-universe crossing Supergirl to hang with the Flash and friends. I would think that any Kara that exists on Earth-1 would also have to have been an alien. There can't just be a Kara Danvers from Poughkeepsie. That's the fun of the multiverse. We have a really exciting, fun doppelganger coming up on the penultimate episode of The Flash that we haven't announced yet. Whoa there, Greg! Such big words! You can't just jump right from Kara would be an alien on Earth-1 to we have a really exciting doppelganger coming up on The Flash without us thinking that maybe, just maybe, we're gonna meet Earth-1 Kara Danvers Danvers, or at least the Earth-1 version of another beloved DCEU character, but who and what will they be doing? I guess we'll have to wait a couple more months to find out, but I know this much. World's Finest was a damn good superhero crossover, and WB would be wise to take a closer look at how fun, inspiring, and exciting a superhero team-up can be when it's allowed to lighten up. But what do you guys think? Did you love World's Finest? What DCEU characters do you want to see team up next? What do you think Earth-1 Kara Danvers is up to? Let's discuss. Don't miss the latest of our world-famous Toy Smash series where we mash up Batman, Superman, and WWE toys for maximum muscles. Malik, what's popping on play today? Dan and I are putting the D in the division and I'm teaching him how to be a dick in the game. He's running around the D zone being a D. <laughs> Check it out over at Nerds.com.